man saw a cat peeing in the park, and then he was like, I can't tell the difference between the pee or the cat. Right. He was a scientist. And it's as if they were one thing. He and was then, like, well, maybe the cat's liquid. Well, then he opened up the cat, I understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like you would open a cantaloupe or any yeah. type of melon, yep. and it, it was liquid in there, too. That's so right. So there you go. And he was Lots from a university. Lots of liquid in a cat. He was from a university. Very, he was foaming he at was the mouth. He was a scientist. And he, he, had a, he had a weird hat on. And so now- Like uh, a pirate hat. The local bar is now announcing uh, a new drink. Uh, it's, cat. It's called the Juicy it's just Firm called cat. cat. No, it's just called Cat. It's just called Cat. And it's just a cat in a glass. More news at- um, Yes. Well, it's whenever you whenever log Whenever you on. log on, because this is a live stream. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness! Mm. Okay, so I, I realize now with a French name it was that like, it probably it should have brief. been from France. It was very brief. Well, it, uh, oh that, yeah, that and word it, is French, and it is French. Yeah, so it should be from France. I should have got that, but I did not. And uh, I we both changed to Rachel, which we were going out on a limb there. But, but we what both did you right. hold on? But what did you know? I can't remember. I took mine out. Hold on, but the name is French. You knew that already. All you knew was what the cheese looked like. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known that name was French. <laughs> and that would have made all yeah, the difference. Right. I, I guess I was putting myself in the future, like, if that were already there and you told me. Well, okay, but so that really I went helpful. with Cam, uh, Cam Bozzola because I thought this had, like, blue ribbons in it. But it turns out that's much more, right? And I forgot that this does, Gonzola was gross. This is very goaty. It has a, it's very good. Uh, so that makes sense to be this. This is like Brie, so it's French. This one, for all the reasons that you were talking about, just was so obviously just like Sheepish. super strong, barnyardy, sheepy. Uh, and then this one, whether or not hooligan and Rachel, you got to call this one hooligan, right? Because it's they, it's it's like a a pet name for a cheese. Like, oh, this cheese is crazy. I'm going to call it a hooligan. Yeah, yeah. And this is a, a woman that the cheesemaker loved because this is a great cheese. So it really and all the it, logic it's is also, there. Cheese board, are you the, listening? The reason why I got this one is because it said washed in a brine solution through the maturation process, and it looked it just looked salty, yeah. but it didn't taste salty. So that's what threw me for a second. Oh, you gonna eat that piece? I was about to eat that piece. Of course, you're the winner. You got them all right. That's Kudos. my favorite one. But you know what? It is very. It is floral. I said that, and I was wrong. All right, because so, I thought it was the pistols of the Cardoon, but it wasn't. Here's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna grill cheese. Oh, really? An ultimate for you. Um, what? You speak in English? Um, it's called. An, we're gonna give you an ultimate. Okay. How does that in. work? I don't know how to make a grilled cheese. I've never done it. Am I gonna be cutting cheese from these and putting them on bread and putting it into a forming grill? Look at that. And there's your your butter and your. Uh, okay. I'm okay. gonna put this right here. So it's a fire hazard, but it's not plugged in yet. Okay. Oh, this isn't right. Now. Oh, it's gotta go. The key, oh, the plate! The key to a really good grilled cheese is butter, so I'm glad you guys <coughs> included that. That was smart. If you're eating grilled cheese without butter, you're not eating grilled cheese. Um. Looks like pound cake. And because I lost, I do have to eat, a, I will eat a little bit more of the nastiest one, which is the sheep. Oh gosh. I'm gonna do that right now and get it over with while you're making that. You're probably not gonna like it. And that looks like pound cake. That's what I just said. <laughs> because it does look just like Did you just cake. say that? Yeah, I said that bread looks like pound cake. <laughs> Actually, I said it looks just like pound cake. And then you said the exact same thing. <laughs> okay. You think too much alike. Did you think that you should know what that is because it had a French name and yeah, that yeah. wasn't possible? <laughs> right, yeah, right. Um, I was thinking that. I might say stupid things, but then at least I know they were stupid. Right. Like that's what I kind of hang on to. You're a smart thinker and a dumb speaker, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm, it is. I'm proud of it. Um, thanks. <laughs> this is getting hot over here, man. All right, gosh, give me this. This is might as well be sheep. You know, excrement. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I was just saying, you know, I like a lot of weird stuff. What the heck? Somehow this burnt me from that far away. I think you must have touched it. No, I didn't. <laughs> my hand was right here, and when I got right here, something burnt into my finger. You should close it. 
So, because I got to put all the cheese on here. And you want to put the butter on the outside. It gets hot quick. I'm going to unplug okay. it. Okay. You want to put the butter mm. on the outside. There are people who actually like this crud. Now, that's the thing. I like a lot of weird stuff, and I like things that really taste really strong, but I don't like that. I feel like there's a there's a smell, there's a hint of chocolate when you smell it. Smell that. See if you smell chocolate. Yeah, definitely. But like a... Rotten chocolate. So, Can I have yeah. a little paper towel? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of the epois because I think that's gonna make a good grilled cheese. Uh, and then I'm gonna just pepper it with some other things. This is gonna be the best grilled oh, cheese. Whoa. Gosh! It bites your tongue. It's so horrible. And it, it disintegrates. It melts in your mouth and attacks every square inch of it. Look, I'm just gonna get a big slab of this pudding cheese. <laughs> oh, it's is like that a good, cheese is that spread. good for the gut? Look at to that. eat something that nasty? Holy moly, look at that. They can't see it. Look at, that. Share the... oh, look at what's happening on this grilled cheese. Oh gosh, what's happening to this grilled cheese? <gasps> hey listen, if you invite me to the cheese board, grilled cheese for everybody. Where do y'all meet, Wisconsin? That's a good place, I like to visit. I wouldn't want to live there, but I like to visit. Um, the one time we went to cold. Wisconsin, we went to, in 2008, we went to the- um, Cheese shop in Milwaukee. It's, it was called the Cheese Mart or something, and um, it's in the cheese. If you look at our cheese wrap, we, we filmed. It was fi all filmed on location at this cheese place. They sent us some cheese. We should probably remember what they are. We put our faces on the cheese and made the cheese wrap, and that was before the annoying orange. So yeah, yeah, the annoying orange. We didn't do it right because no one cared. Else, not really. But uh, then the annoying orange did their did its thing. People cared. Uh, you know what? Shout out to Rachel, wherever you're at. You know, it's an old flame, so you're not in a relationship with a cheese man anymore. But he's thinking about you. And you know what? I'll take back what I said about you, Rachel, uh, and about you, Mr. Cheesemaker of Rachel. You, you're not pathetic because that cheese is good. It's admirable. Uh, yeah. If you, Let me if, you if if she, if uh, I hope you got her back. You know what? I hope she's in your arms right now. She probably she's isn't though. But look, you know what? <laughs> we can make that happen. Rachel, uh, if you go back, if, to if him. your name is Rachel, and you dated a dude that seemed like he was about to get into cheese, <laughs> uh, well, he's into cheese now, and he's making cheese and naming it after you. I think what happened was, and it's that really good cheese, Rachel. I think he chose cheese over her. It can happen. Kind of like you know how a musician is like. Is it gonna be the music or is it gonna be me, baby? Yeah. It's like, it's gonna be you, baby. But in a weird way, he chose both when he made that cheese. Wow. Okay. I bet it happened. And they're, and neither, and here's the sad thing. Neither one of them are happy right now. I mean, Rachel, just be, you're not happy. And this guy's making cheese with your name cheese, on it. He's not happy. And he ain't happy. Yeah. And I know you weren't happy together. Can you but open that up again? You can, do I plug this back in? Yeah, I'm about to make it. But it's better to be miserable together than miserable alone, or with another woman not named Rachel. So, <laughs> give it another shot, Rach. Yeah, Rachel, you don't get on Tinder. You don't need Tinder, okay? Now this is You need hot. that guy that made the cheese. I wish we knew his name, I bet his name is. Well, who's the maker of Rachel? Rocky. Let's figure this out right now. Who makes Rachel cheese? We're gonna make this connection happen. Let's figure this out right now by just sitting here and barking orders. <laughs> it is made in Somerset by Pete Humphreys. Pete. Pete. Named romantically after an old flame. Okay, Pete. Pete Humphreys. You know who you are. You're watching right now. No, I hope Rachel's not dead. Pete, That's it, the first it thing isn't. I'll say. What you did is not pathetic. So if she, if I, I wholeheartedly if she's dead, take that back. This is distasteful. But if she's married, she may not be happy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What's Rachel's last Let's name? Let's just assume she's not Rachel. What's her address? <laughs> Rachel Cheese. Rachel, you used to date Pete Humphreys. He's in what place? Somerset. He's in Somerset, England. Yeah. Uh, wow. It got just more romantic because it crossed the ocean. Well, she's also more romantic. she's also over there. Really? Yeah. Rachel's not an exclusive. You know anybody American named yet. Rachel outside of Australia or America? Yeah, a new one in Somerset, England. I like to think she's in Australia. Rachel, you're down there, you're in a different time zone. You're in a totally different hemisphere. 
toilet water goes the other way. I know that's a myth, but we like to perpetuate it. Um, and Pete is thinking about you so much Every that time he's he making eats the food cheese. named after you. And let me tell you right now, Rachel, it is good. good. It's a little floral. You must have worn like a fruity, like, you must have had like a fruity perfume. Like, no, you know what? You were the kind of girl that went to that Bath and Body Works and got the fruity lotion. Because I can taste it in there. He was trying to recreate what it's like to be with you and to smell you, Rachel. And you smell a little fruity and I'm not complaining. And Pete isn't either. But you know what Pete is complaining about? Oh His current relationship. <laughs> no. Well, Link's the sandwich man. No, Link's, he, he's, listen. That's this man. If his man I'm on the anything, grilled cheese board. He, he, can make, he can make a grilled cheese if he can do anything. Anyway, uh, Pete and need, Rachel. I don't, I don't have anything to get this up with. Uh, we will officiate your wedding. We'll, Where, where's your you, spoon? You know what, Pete and Rachel, if you get married, we will perform at your wedding. We will write you a love song. This is just for you. I don't care where you get married in the world. On our own dime. If Rachel and Pete Humphreys get married, we will be there and we will write you a song. That's the offer that's on the table. The cheese is so good. We just made it official. Congratulations, Red. I'm proud of you, man. You did it. Uh, I expected I expected you to do great um, because you're all the time like, cheese this, cheese that, give me some cheese. Can I have a paper towel, please? Uh, but I'm not going to hate on it. I'm not going to hate on you, man. I'm glad that if if I also knew this much about cheese, then we'd why, have to why would I need jobs. you to be here? We, well, we'd have to just start our own cheese business. If you were this smart Separate. about cheese as me, we, it'd be fate. But for now, I'll just join the cheese board and we'll take go to bite, Rachel and take a bite wedding. <clears throat> and I'll take eat this grilled cheese. Mm. If I wouldn't have switched those two at the end, I would have lost by one. Oh. Not by. Mm, oh, brother. Burning. That is good. Not by three. You know what? Or at four. Pete, at Pete and Rachel's wedding, I'm gonna make little hors d'oeuvres of this of this uh, grilled cheese. I'm gonna recreate it. Small for everybody. How everybody is that? Get a little bit. Small cheese, grilled. We're gonna call it petite grilled cheese. Hey, so which you put? You put these three in there. I put a plus. Of course, I put Rachel, and a little bit of Camazola. Oh, but no Humboldt Fog. I didn't want to goat my sandwich up. Is that good? Yeah, you want a bite? No. All right. Have a good day. <laughs>